your character looked so cool. So let's talk about this process that you went through with the filmmakers and their creative team to create Malekith. Mm. Okay. Six hours in the makeup chair every day. Um, it was a long process, uh, but it was very worthwhile. I always felt that the the facial makeup was very organic. It just felt like they were building on the structure of my face. They took a head cast. They took a full body and head cast. Um, and I always felt like I was controlling the prosthetic rather than it burying me, and that was very important. And the look of it, you know, the pallor and the texture of the skin they put on me suggested to me a reptile. And from, you know, from, from that thought, I thought about his, his uh, heartbeat being slower and that suggested to me that he moved slower and kind of thought very slowly and very considered. So it helped me a huge amount. Did you say that you had input in the look of your character? No, no, no. I mean, the, input, the, the look of the character is, is really based a great deal on, on the, comic, you know, the comic books with, um, with then a creative process applied from, from the makeup department. No, it, it, the, the character was designed then they had to take a head cast and then right. build, on my, build on my structure. Because I've actually talked to um, someone in prosthetics before and he told me how they'll go through different versions of the yeah. prosthetics and the looks and they'll try on different things before they finally decide this is the nose, these are the ears. Yeah, well this, that's my nose, I'm afraid. <laughs> There's no prosthetic, that doesn't need any prosthetic. <laughs> I think they've been through a lot of processes but when I arrived, um, they had the final look and then they had to adapt it to my face, you know, and use my features. They emphasise my nose, they emphasise my ears, my cheekbones, so, which is why it's organic. I was speaking to uh, producer Kevin Feige and he said that once you were in costume for the very first time, it kind of took him a little bit to get used to it. And is this something that you experienced, maybe people treating you differently or acting differently around yeah, you while you're on Yeah, they do. Set? Yeah, they definitely do. And I've played villains before and that always happens. Even in adults, they tend to go, oh, maybe this guy, you know, it's, it's one of the quirks of human nature. That's amazing. I think it's because I just feel like me, but I'd, I'd look like that. <laughs> well, you don't know until you look in the mirror, right? Exactly. What did yeah. you think when you first saw what you would look like in the mirror? I thought, well, I, yeah, you're always thinking about the work. If I'm honest with you, you know, when some so much responsibility in a film like this, I didn't have much time for fun. I was thinking, okay, how can I make this work? How can I make this sound right? How can I make this move right? So the first thing I thought was lizards and reptiles and Nosferatu and I was kind of because I had to turn up one day be put in the makeup and costume and then go on set and make it work so only in a superhero film do we love the villains just as much as the superheroes but what drew you to Malekith? What drew me to Malekith? Um, firstly that he was the villain you know it's always the greatest part you know it is the great, it's a great part in a film to say at the end of your life, career that you play a villain. I like the idea that Alan wanted him to be aristocratic and, and elegant and superior. We didn't want to be just snarling and cackling, especially with a look as strong as that. We wanted him to be considered. We wanted him to be psychologically terrifying as well as physically terrifying. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. We wanted him to be psychologically uh, complex. I love Marvel films because I think there's a little bit of magic, a little bit of sparkle, and some sense of humor in every film. Yeah. Is this something that you feel while you're on set shooting Thor? Yeah. I've seen the film and I'm, I love the comedy in it. Um, I'm sad that I wasn't allowed to take part in that, but mine and Ada Wally's job was to bring the threat and the menace and the jeopardy. Um, but I think it's great that it has that variety of tone. There's something for everybody in the film. You get the action, you get the stunts, you get the conflict and the darkness, but you get humour. Made in Hollywood.